Most of the time, we would like to convert units within one system, say metric to metric system or from one system to another as in metric to English system. In metric to metric conversion, the easiest way would be to count how many jump we would do to go from one unit to another. For example, you want to know how many kilometers are there in 6 meters. Say we have base unit meter here, then we will list down the prefixes we had studied in the last video. It would be helpful for you if you memorize how the prefixes are arranged because you will need this throughout this course. We have base meter and we will place it in the center. Then, in its left, we will start with deca, then hecto, and kilo, which is arranged in increasing order from the base unit meter. Then, in its right, I will write down deci, centi, and milli, which are in decreasing order from our base unit. When we said that we will count how many jump we would do, we would count from meter because that is what's given in the problem, and then we will jump until we reach to the desired unit. So, there is 1, 2, and 3. In this case, we had 3. From base unit meter, we jumped 3 times to reach kilometer. Now, what we will do next is to write down our given number here, and we know that the decimal point of a number is written in the right side of the last whole number. And since we jumped 3 times to the left to get kilometer from meter, then we will move 3 decimal places also to the left and here we would get 0 0.006 kilometer which is equivalent to 6 meters. Now this technique is very helpful especially if we are not allowed to use calculators or we are in hurry in doing metric conversions. Another example and I want you to do it with me is that we have here 13 hectometers and we want this to be converted to centimeter. You may pause this video and you may do this on your own. Okay, what we would do here is to jump to the left from hecto to centi. So we will jump 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we will move the decimal point of the given 13, 4 places to the right. And therefore, we would have 130,000 centimeter or 130,000 centimeters. I hope you have the same answer. Converting a unit within a metric system is relatively easy. We just need to memorize the arrangement of prefixes and do not be confused with the how many jumps and moves we will do. Metric system to English system, however, is a different story. In general, to convert units, a conversion factor is used. These factors relate one unit to another. For instance, 1 inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. This means that 1 inch in English unit has an equivalent length of 2.54 centimeters in metric system. Let us have this example. The length of a football field is 100 yards. In constructing a football field in Europe, the specifications have to be given in metric units. How long is a football field in meters? In converting from one unit to another, we will follow three steps. First, you need to identify the conversion factor. Often, it is necessary to look up these factors or statements in a table, but if you can familiarize yourself with these, the better. I have a table here, so our conversion factor would be 1 yard is equal to 0 0.914 meter, or in every yard, there is 0 0.914 meter. Now that we identified the conversion factor, we will decide how we will use this by making sure that the given unit is cancelled and what would leave us will be our desired unit. In this case, we will put these values in terms of ratio. So in the numerator, we will put the given which is 100 yards. Now, we want to cancel the unit yards so we can have the unit meter left. We will multiply this given value to a ratio of our selected conversion factor. To cancel the unit yard, which is placed in the numerator, we will multiply it with a ratio where a unit yard is in the denominator. Then, we will place our desired unit meter on top. So, when we multiply this, these two values here will cancel each other and will leave as meter. We will assign now numerical values. 
Let us go back again in our conversion factor. 1 yard is equal to 0 0.914 meter. We will assign number 1 at the denominator beside yard. Then it says here that in every yard, there will be 0 0.914 meter. Now that what's left is our desired unit, we will perform the operations indicated in this equivalent statement. So 100 multiplied by 0 0.914 over 1 is 9.14, then our unit is meter. Let us have example number 2. A computer printer has a width of 18 inches. What is its width in meters? Again, we choose a conversion factor from our table, which is 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. Then, we assign each value in such a way that we will cancel the unit inches and will leave us our desired unit. Since our desired unit is in meter, we will add 1 here where meter is in the numerator and centimeter is in the denominator. So we can cancel the unit centimeter and we'll only leave meter. Now that I have set up the units, we will assign values. In the problem, we have 18 inches here. By the way, you need to always put your given problem in the numerator, never in the denominator, okay? Then, 2.54 centimeter in the numerator and then 1 in the denominator, which is our conversion ratio or factor. Then since centimeter to meter conversion is within a metric system, you can do the jump method which I taught you earlier or you may want to assign conversions. So we have two jumps from centimeter to meter. Remember in the last video that the metric system is base 10. So we will not use any number except for 10. What does it mean? From centi to deci is 10. Then another jump to meter is another 10. So we have 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. Therefore, there is 100 centimeters in 1 meter. Or you can simply add the number of zeros depending on how many jumps you had. I will assign 100 in the denominator and 1 in the numerator because it says here that there is 100 centimeters in every 1 meter. I will cancel the units to make sure that what will be left is my desired unit. We cancel this, we cancel this, and that leaves us meter, which is asked in our problem. Lastly, you will perform the indicated operation. 18 multiplied by 2.54 multiplied by 1 and their product divided by 1 multiplied by 100. So the final answer would be 0 0.46 meter. To sum this up, we can convert units by following these three simple steps. First, you need to identify a proper conversion factor, whether metric to English or English to metric or metric to metric. Next, make sure that all units will be cancelled except for your desired unit. And when you are finished checking it, perform the indicated operations. I posted some drills in our BBL so you can practice some problems involving unit conversion. Feel free to message me in our course message. Shall there be topics in this video you want to clarify or you may post a discussion for your classmates. This is Gilmar De Castro and see you in the next video.